Jörg, you were just on stage and spoke about the post-COVID travel euphoria and the return of travel. How would you summarize the three key takeaways from your presentation? First of all, travel will come back. I'm really convinced, but it will take a while and we have to learn to live with the situation, with the new reality, with the virus that has come, not to disappear, but most probably will remain. So tourism has to, has to live with it. And uh, domestic travel will definitely outperform in the upcoming years. It will take a while till Asian travel, travel from US will come back. Uh, furthermore, I see a strong trend into eco-travel. Eco-travel for people that really care about their footsteps when traveling. This is a growing uh, a number of travelers. And I think it has to do with the experience we all made. We have realized the vulnerability of our planet, uh, also the limits of the globalization, and this will, uh, this will leave some tracks. Mm -hmm. When it comes to eco-travel, it seems to be a major trend at the moment that's really starting to take hold. What opportunities do you see here? So in Switzerland, we just finished a study, it's 8% of the travelers that visit Switzerland, already 8 that are eco-travelers. So they check the sustainability of a hotel before placing the bookings. We strongly believe this will be one of the fastest growing segment in tourism. In five to ten years this will be 15 to 20 percent. And we have to prepare by providing guided tours experiences. These are people that want to have guided tours into our nature, uh, to discover the animals, uh, to learn about the biodiversity and all these aspects. And then we just have to prepare the right offer. Yeah, uh, we're yeah. pretty good, but not yet perfect. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, Jörg, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. Great Thank to you. have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.